What's up, everyone? You're tuned in to the Channel Ease episode 132. I'm your host, Iman, because there is none other. As you can see, I am not in my usual place. I am now in Japan. Well, actually, pretty close to the Narita Airport. What I usually do is before I hit the main city, I spend a night at a hotel that's just basically one stop from. Uh, the Narita Airport, that's their main international airport, just to recharge, get to sleep, and then sort of a transition to the main city. However, I had a horrible, horrible flight. It was not good at all. Um, I flew with Air Canada on the AC5 flight. And Usually, they're fine. I have no issues with them. But for some particular reason, this particular flight, there were some issues. The flight attendant said that, or the captain was speaking, saying that there were some issues with the plane and we had to divert instead of flying from Montreal all the way to Narita Airport in Tokyo or the area. Uh, we diverted. We were, were, were in the Arctic area. And then we had to fly down to connect to, to land in Vancouver. And everyone got off the plane and they said that, oh, the next, uh, we're going to see what's wrong with it. And we would be boarding uh, one hour later. It turns out that we didn't board the plane until like four hours later. So we didn't board until 10 p.m. PST time and we lost like we lost like seven hours like literally like seven hours was gone not only that I was flying business class and the situation with that is is that the AC5 there were I think there's more than like 13 rows that is all designated business class. And I was on row nine. So when I went on to the, um, the new plane, you would expect that, you know, everything is in the same order. Everything is the same uh, sequence. However, this new plane uh, has less um, seats on the business. So I was bumped down to uh, premium economy which is fine, but when you're, when my hair's like all over the place, when, when, you know, but when you're like traveling and it's just sort of that whole transition and when you have a black swan event, such as like a malfunctioning plane, you have to like, like, like freaking land in Vancouver to divert, change planes. It's a headache. I'm sure it's a headache for everyone. Like thinking back now, I think I had it pretty good because most people who travel, uh, are usually uh, need to be with a tour guide or are connecting. Some I was talking to some people. Some people have to connect to like are, are connecting in Narita Airport to go to Jakarta. Some people are going to go to China, and because of that, it threw out their whole entire uh, itinerary. And people have to line up, get their vouchers. Um, the people who are connecting um, were given hotels. Uh, so there's it was a, I mean, they I think they've. For what it was, I think Air Canada handled it as best as they could. Uh, but I have a lot of questions for my for my situation too, like you know, like um, my reimbursements and you know what happens when I get bumped into, you know, a premium economy from this a business class to premium economy. So I paid money for business class. So what what's the deal here? Like you know, and and my and my premium economy flight was from. Vancouver all the way to Tokyo, Nanalita Airport. So that's pretty much majority of the leg of the trip. Um, so yeah, but I was just I was jaded, of course. But I was tired when I landed. I was like, and then I get to the airport, and the crazy thing, the crazy thing is about like the Keisei Skyliner. That's the main train or the the public transit that goes straight into Nanalita Airport that goes all the way to Tokyo Center. Um, they're, it's not 24 hours. They close, they shut down services, uh, the main line, they shut down services at 
like 11.30 or 11.40 p.m. So we, we, we fly in at 12. Transportation is a bit of a mess. Fortunately, for those who are staying in downtown or in, in Tokyo Core, uh, have, um, they provided shuttle buses to take them down there. Now, as to where they will stop, I don't know. My particular case, though, as I mentioned, I'm not staying in, in, in downtown yet, uh, but I am in a hotel that is uh, right next, pretty much next to the airport. So I had to pay a taxi. And they said that, oh, yeah, they'll reimburse for the taxi as well. But I tell you, taxi fares in Japan is a whole other thing. Because they know their quality of service is phenomenal. It's very comfortable, but very expensive. So for those who are traveling to Japan, uh, know that like um, it can get pricey if you're always taking taxis, okay? For example, it cost me almost 50 bucks Canadian. I would say, yeah, I would say maybe... Well, with the strong, I forgot. There's the strong Canadian dollar compared to the yen now, so maybe forty five bucks Canadian. But the distance traveled is not far at all. It would have cost me at least like two hundred dollars. I'd probably say maybe around two hundred dollars if I were to uh, go from the airport all the way to like Shinagawa, which is like you know the main you know, main area in, in, in Tokyo. Uh, it cost me forty five bucks, and the distance traveled is literally like a a 15 minute car ride like at most so uh for for yeah so heads up now as i mentioned when i travel i don't travel glamorously i think that's uh that was if that that is for a real vacation um as a creative entrepreneur i i make sure that i budget myself appropriately and i absolutely love as you can notice, up a hotel, uh, I get a chuckle at this because I have been Japanese friends, and they and they know of Apple Hotel. They know they know the store behind it. Uh, I don't know much about the history, but I know that this uh, where's that where's this lady? Hold on, I'll show you. This um, this lady right here. She's the owner, like she's the, the the head boss of Apple Hotel. She's everywhere. She's like she's like a celebrity. She's like a you know, that's her. Okay. And I, you know, I guess she, she wrote a book on that, but she's like the face of Apple Hotel. Um, don't know much about the history about it, but my, my, my friends, my Japanese friends get a chuckle that I stay there because it's like, you know, I mean, it's a business hotel. It's very cheap. It's very affordable, but it's not a cap. It's been stopped short of becoming a capsule hotel for the price you pay. I'm paying less than a hundred dollars a night at these hotels. And Okay, it's not big. It's not big. Okay, literally where you see here is basically my space, and I have a wa- have a washroom, private washroom, I have a private room. It's very quiet. Um, most most of the time, I would say ninety five percent of the time, it's very clean and modern. This particular hotel, Nalita, uh, I've been to many Apple hotels, but this one, I don't know if you can see it is. Oh, it's okay. It's not bad, right? You know, it's very small, and the washroom. Oops, the washroom's right there. Uh, it's got a bathtub. But look, it's not big, okay? It's not big, but they have all the amenities. And in this particular hotel, some of them have a spa, like an onsen, a, a hot bath onsen, a public onsen. Now, if you're not comfortable getting down naked, then maybe it's not for you. But me, I'm a monkey. I don't give a, f- I don't give a shit, so I'm just going to go. I go there. I just hang out. and you know, it's, it's like a onsen, hot bath, especially for a long trip. It is so comfortable. And everyone's just like just chilling. It's all good, man. This is we're just like you know, uh, relaxing. It's uh, uh, I, that thing as a, a plus. So for the for the price you pay, uh, it's very very convenient. What's also very convenient about Apple Hotel. This is not a sponsor of Apple Hotel whatsoever, but I'm just because I've been going there all the time. They are located at pretty much all the major uh, metro stations or subway station, whatever you want to call it. This particular one is right along the KC Skyline, the main line, as I mentioned. So today I'm only spending one night here, and I'm going to go to Tokyo Core, take this KC Skyline, and go straight all the way there. So um, that's the uh, that's my turn. But again, you know, this is not this hotel is not a four or five star hotel. Um, however, uh, it's interesting. Like a this is like a like a three star hotel, but 
compare three star hotels with this this type of three star hotel to other three star hotels around the world this is like phenomenal if i am vouching for this place then it it, it, it speaks a lot it speaks a lot um but yeah but there's these other apple hotels or grand spa which is like these resorts sorry the apple hotel resorts uh there's one in yokohama there's other places i think there's one osaka there's these other this apple hotel resorts are the really like really nice and the prices you pay are are very similar as well so uh if you're in japan and you're on a tight budget and you want to be just very really, um you know like just 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 you know, being mindful for budget for the balance between but uh, uh for of being budgeting um good budgeting and for what you get out of it uh, i think these are really great i think this is a really great experience but mind you it, they're not big it's not big but that's not the point you're here to stay um there's privacy and then you go out and do your, do your thing right so but yeah that that was uh, man i was so tired this is crazy this is nuts. oh one other thing is it's it's um not a big detail but every apple every apple hotel has a big screen okay uh oh yeah it comes with you know, you know hair blower and everything i mean you got a mini fridge too there's a mini fridge mini fridge there's a mini fridge here i don't know if you can see it. There, there's a mini fridge got a small kettle there too a hot hot water kettle uh and with this screen you could like um uh, cast your computer to a bigger screen so uh, when i travel when I, when I go to these places you know like i mean for sure like you know i'm, I'm hanging out i'm I go to a shrine. I enjoy myself, uh, but I'm kind of weird. I'm like I I enjoy these small spaces and enjoy the basics. So I do work here. Like I like to do my work, and it's just the my it's just the the the, the I the very notion of me physically removed from my um from my normal day to day is actually creatively inspiring for me. I don't know if you guys get it. Maybe some of you do. Maybe creatives do. But yeah, that's the that's the deal, Shmuel. Um uh, but yeah, that's uh, that's where this is day one of my trip to Japan, and I already have a meeting at lunchtime, probably around Shinagawa, and just slowly transition. Um, I'll also do some little Instagram stories of behind the scenes, um, going to a Seven Eleven because I love the Seven Eleven coffees. Seven Eleven coffee is so cheap; it's like a like literally like. 100 what hyaku yen so 100 yen which is like with the strong canadian dollars like 90 cents <laughs> but the quality from a 7-eleven coffee here is like at par if not better than the starbucks coffee in my humble opinion <laughs> so you could do it's 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 pretty it's pretty awesome here um but anyway i thought i'd make this short um it's 7 24 a.m i'm gonna get ready i have to check out a 10 is when to get things organized and until next time this is the channel eves episode 132 any questions you have let me know down in the comments please like and subscribe and we'll chat soon okay bye bye